In this video, we will discuss the Corvian thyroiditis. The Corvian thyroiditis is a subacute form of thyroiditis and is also known as joint cell thyroiditis, granulomatous thyroiditis, or viral thyroiditis. It's the most common cause of painful thyroiditis. Which viruses are implicated in causing D. Corvian thyroiditis? Adenovirus, Echo, Coxsackie, Influenza, and Mumps virus. Condition is three times more in women and with a peak at 30 to 40 years of age. And what are the clinical features? Presence with upper respiratory tract infection with sore throat and features of thyroid involvement with painful, tender, firm and large thyroid. What's the pathophysiology of decurvin thyroiditis? There is characteristic patchy inflammatory infiltrate with disruption of thyroid follicle. Infiltration with inflammatory cells like neutrophils, lymphocytes, histiocytes, multinucleated giant cells. What's the result of disruption and collapse of thyroid follicle? Follicular changes progress to granulomas accompanied by fibrosis. There are three phases of the disease. Initially there is thyrotoxic phase, then hypothyroid phase and then a resolution. How about the thyroid function test. Thyroid function depends on the phase of the disease. In thyrotoxic phase there is increased unbound T4 and T3 and decreased TSH and increased thyroglobulin levels and decreased radio iodine uptake. Why radio iodine uptake is decreased despite thyrotoxicosis? Because this thyrotoxicosis is due to leakage from the follicle. is not due to hyperfunction of the thyroid gland. Condition that damages follicle causes release of unbound T4 into the circulation along with the thyroglobulin and a decreased radio iodine uptake. After a few months, thyroid reserves are finished and it goes in a state of hypothyroidism and there is decreased unbound T4, increased TSH and radio iodine uptake is normal to increase. Thyroid becomes normal after few months. Permanent hypothyroidism and or relapse can occur. The laboratory features are increased ESR of more than 100, leukocytosis, lymphocytosis, anemia, normocytic, normochromic and thyroid antibodies are negative. Treatment is aspirin and NSAIDs. Why antithyroid drugs are not used for thyrotoxic phase? The antithyroid drug like propylthyroidrosil are not indicated for thyrotoxic phase since excess hormone is due to leak instead of hyperfunction. Drug used for thyrotoxic phase is beta blocker and for severe symptoms iopenoic acid.